Hi everyone. So I was changing Amity and looking for a pacifier for her and I thought, you know, I would do another trying pacifiers on um, a Reborn. I did this last with Cole and I find when I get a new Reborn, I would just like to try to see what pacifiers look good on them, you know. I typically try to keep all my pacifiers magnetized the same way, but unfortunately it doesn't always happen. Sometimes, you know, one reborn needs things modified just a little differently than the other, and so certain things don't work. So I thought I would, let's see, try an experiment. So this first one she has on is a little ma'am, and it's got just a tiny little magnet, but it's got a couple of them. So it's stacked up a little bit. And I find that that seems to work for her face. And because, let me see if I can lift her up and show you. So here is the profile of her lips. Let's see, I'm gonna try and hold her and put this magnet on so you can see. Uh, so when it goes on, it kind of is able to sit in that lip because they're tiny little magnets. Unfortunately, what this means is that not all of these, all of the magnetized pacifiers that I have right now are gonna work for her. And that's not a bad thing. Um, like I've said in my last video I just recorded, I kind of like to have her just like this and have an actual full passy kind of as a prop anyway. Cause she looks so peaceful like this. So, I have a ton of pacifiers that I want to try on. So I'm just gonna get started and go through some of them. So the first ones that I think I'll try are kind of like these uh, silicone or rubber pacifiers. So I've got a few of them here. A lot of these are the same, but they're just modified slightly different. So um, I'll just start. So this is a Chico. And this one has kind of yellowed over time. Isn't that terrible? Uh, so don't like it. Like it, it's, it's not sitting on her face properly. And I didn't think that these ones would work on her anyway, to be perfectly honest. Same with this one. This one was modified, I want to say, for either um, my Saskia previously or maybe Emmy because uh, it sticks out a bit. And so what, if they have an open mouth, it tends to work. Like I think that one was for Emmy. Uh, like this one here probably was for a Saskia. And that does not look good. Now I do have one that, one of these that's flat and I have used this on her. And you know, it's not the greatest, but it doesn't look terrible. If you, I mean, I'm just gonna try and move her a little bit here. So you can see, get a bit of different angle. So there, it sits really odd because her magnet is there. So it almost needs like the little magnet to sit right here instead of this full big magnet to like want to pull in. So there's that. I might be able to put like a little magnet on attachment and see what that does either on the bottom here. Actually, let's try that. See what okay, so I have about four different sizes of magnets that I keep on hand. This is one of the mid-size magnets that I have. And then this is another of the, the middle size thickness, but it's typically the, the smallest. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh, it's, this is one of the smaller ones here that I've got. So I've got both of these and I'm going to try this mid-size one first. And this one, oh, I don't have the measurements offhand to let you know what it is, so I apologize. But let's try and see what it works. So I'm just gonna take it and put it right near the bottom like that. And then, whoop try it on her face so that the magnet the little the, the one I added goes 
b below her lip. And that's not gonna work because it just wants to stick out. So let's try it in a different place. Let's try it at the top and see what happens. Again, it just tilts. So this is not gonna work. I don't think this may, this is gonna work at all. Hmm. Let's try adding these. I'm sure it's not gonna make a difference, but we'll see. All right, that's not working either, so. So this one really is not that great for her. <laughs> so let's, these ones again, this is the flat. I've already tried it on the clear. Not a fan of it on her, but it doesn't fit horribly. Let's take a look at it from the front. And there it is from the front. Again, you know, just not one that I really like. I think these are just magnetized wrong for her because her lip does stick out like that at the top. So I apologize if you hear my husband talking, my niece and her boyfriend and their new puppy are just over, so. All right, so one of the other ones that I have is this, uh, I wanna say it's Juvie. I like these on Emmy a lot, but because they have the big magnet in them, they probably are not gonna look good on M Amity. So it's not. It doesn't look too bad from the front. And let's check it out from the side here. So from the side, this one actually is not too bad either. I don't mind it. Um, this ring, if you look at it, goes down to begin with. So that's probably why it gives that look that it's sticking out a little bit more than it really is but actually I don't mind this one, which is nice because I have this in purple and like a neon pink for Emmy. So this one is an okay one. I'm gonna try these ones on Emmy later and if they don't seem to work, this one I'll keep too just because. Uh, I'm gonna start paring down some of my magnetized stuff. So we'll see what happens with that one. So let's get rid of these then. Move these ones. Let's try some of the other pacifiers. So the first up I'm going to take a look at is Nook. Okay, so for Nook, I've got four different styles. I have um, this one, I think this is more like a, well, I, I don't know, it is, it's just a different style. I got this somewhere else, <laughs> I forget. This is the regular Nook version that I'm used to. Then I have this one, and I think it's fairly common. The shield is like the same shape, if I'm not mistaken, as this one, but because the front piece looks a little different, I just wanna see how it looks on Amity. And then I have this one as well, that's Nook. And I think I have one more here. I do. So I have this one as well, this is a Nook. So I'm just gonna dry them on and see how they look. This one is not bad just you know placing it on her first even from the side it has a nice curve to it so it really can mask how it's sitting on her lip which is nice so that's actually not bad I don't mind that one at all Wonder if you can see that so this one's okay hopefully the other nooks will be the same this one we'll try again not bad from the front and the sides so definitely keepers, the nooks, these nooks seem to be good, which is nice because I have some, uh, like a Cookie Monster, an Ernie, uh, just some other pacifier patterns in these type shields. Then let's try the standard nook because I got a ton of these. 
Now I'll be honest, I am not a lover of this look on her or on little babies in general. I always feel like these shields are way too big. Um, like it comes way down under her chin here where if you look at this one, it doesn't have that, that it doesn't come down or it doesn't seem to come down quite as much. Uh, so this one's okay, but definitely not one I will be, not a go-to pacifier for me for her. Uh, let's try this one. This one I don't like. I think it's just magnetized in the wrong spot. Uh, it's a little higher for Emmy because this is one I do use on Emmy. I think if her magnet, if the magnet was a bit whoop lower on this one, it would probably work better. And I don't think if I add a magnet to it, it'll help any. So let's try whoop. I've got magnets in both hands and um, they kind of stuck together. So I don't think that magnet helped. Oh, it does actually help a bit. It does fit a little better on her face um, when I added that magnet. So, <laughs> this poor hat, there we go. So I'll show you how I just added this little magnet here to the bottom like that and it seems to work a little better for her. So that one actually, I'm gonna keep that magnet on there just to remind me that that one's okay. And the last one I have is this Love Bug. Again, the magnet's a little higher on it, so I'm not sure how it's gonna look on her face. Sticks out a little bit, so I'm gonna try this trick with this thick magnet. So I added it down there at the bottom. And to me, it fits a whole lot better on her face. So let's take a look at it from the side. And again, the shield curves really nice to really hide that. So this is a keeper with this magnet on it. So what I do is I just, I will keep the magnet on it in, in the thing. So really these all kind of worked. This one, not a fan of, but it works. But these shields definitely fit her face better. All right, so I have a couple Swabinex to try on her. Um, I actually have more shapes than this, excuse me, but they're for bigger babies. And just looking at them, I didn't like them. One of them is like this shape, but it's bigger. And then I have ones that are um, not necessarily the shape, but it's, they're just bigger and I didn't wouldn't like them. Wow, that does not fit well on her. It's magnetized high, but you can see, oh, you can't see. But from the front, it does not look good. I'll try putting a magnet on it and see what happens. We'll see. So let's see there. It's okay, but let's see from the side. From the side, it looks terrible. Do not like that at all. So, whoop, I lost that magnet here somewhere. So that one, that shield is definitely a no. All right. So let's try this one here. Um, not really a fan of this one either. So I think the Swaminex are out for her. I do have these, I always forget the name of these. Um, I don't particularly like them, to be honest. I bought quite a few, I've got like yellow, cream, purple, gray. I do not like them on Emmy at all. Um, Cole, they looked okay. And her, I don't like them either, they're just, Something about them just is not for me. You know, and again, my taste isn't the same as everyone else's. So if they, you like them, they work on your babies, I mean, that's great. I'm not trying to take that away. I'm just saying for me, not a fan of this one on her. All right. So now I just have, oh, let's try some Dr. Browns. All right, 
So here I have some Tommy Tippies, I think. I think this one's Tommy Tippy. These are some shields that I have a bunch of, so. This one I love on Emmy. Not sure how it's gonna look on Amity. It is too big for me and sticks out too much. So I'm not a lover of that. We'll try this one. These ones I have for Emmy, but um, I don't really like them on Emmy either. <laughs> this one doesn't sit right on her. So I'm gonna try adding a magnet and we'll see what happens. So just like the other pacifiers, I kind of added a magnet there on the bottom. Nope. <laughs> it fits a little better when I sit it like that. Like it doesn't look terrible. It might be one I, I put on her if I can't find something else. But I am not like a big fan of this. I think it's um, an older look for an older baby. And I just lost another magnet. All right. And then I have this one. So this one is definitely magnetized for M. So it's funny. Emmy, I have to put the magnet a little farther up. So if I put this on her the right way, it goes like that, which I think looks terrible. However, if I switch it, I think that looks better. It's still too big for her face, but it looks better. So I think the, this one was okay, but these two, not so much. All right, now we're kind of getting into the odds and ends of pacifiers. So let's see. I've got some MAMs here. Now, I already tried this one on, and I know this one works, but it's got a tiny magnet. I've got this one, which is the bigger standard magnet on the same shield. And this one is a medium magnet. I think this one, um, actually, Jackie did for Emmy when I bought her, so that's I don't have that size magnet usually. And then the large shield, but this is usually for bigger babies, so I don't think it's gonna work very well for her. As you can see, it kind of covers way too much of her face. And I just think it makes these small babies look small. I, I don't like that big look of a big chunky pacifier on them. And again, you know, if you like that on your Reborn, that's great. I am not saying anything about that. Everyone can have their own style, their own taste. I'm just talking what I like from my Reborns. Um, so this is the medium size magnet and I would love for it to sit a little more like that. Not so much like that. So I'm gonna try this magnet, adding another magnet there. I don't know if that'll work. Yeah, that didn't work. So this one's a no, but let's try the big magnet. I know the big magnet on its own is a no, but wanted to try it with a little magnet attached. Um, it's not bad, it looks a little weird from the side. I don't know if you can see that. Let's hope you can. <laughs> it looks, let's see, let me lift her up. So it looks a little weird from the side. But front facing. Lift, move your ear there, girly. From the front, it actually looks fine. She looks so uncomfortable, doesn't she? So the mams, these small little magnets seem to work for her. The big ma magnet with an extra magnet seems to be okay. Um, but this one, I can't make it work. I think it's just because the big this magnet isn't quite big enough to hold the little tiny magnet at the bottom to make it look good. So we got those done. Now we're really at the like stragglers portion of my pacifiers. It's just a bunch of odds and ends of different brands. So I've got this one. I think this one is a Chico. Uh, I forget the name of this. This one is 
I want to say like a Juby or something like that. Uh, this is Playtex, if I'm not mistaken. And this one is not one I should really try on her. <laughs> I don't think that would look... Oh, that's funny. So there's that one. That one I wouldn't normally put on her anyway. So let's try the Playtex. Playtex, again, I love the shield on them. They curve a little bit, so they hide for her. Um, now, Emmy, again, this is magnetized up a little. So right there. I don't know if that seems too low for her. Let's see. Let's twist it around and try. I like that better. So upside down, it works. So that means if there's a pattern on this that, like I have a deer, I'm not sure that it will work because I'd want the deer upside down, I think. But that one works. Let's try this one. This one doesn't look too bad, but let's see. That's what I don't, I'm not fond of is when, like that just, not that people look that way necessarily. I don't like this on her though. So let's try this one. Oh no, not at all. I don't know if you can tell it, it's like way too low. Yeah, I don't even know why I have this one. I guess that one was for maybe Emmy. So let's try this Chico here. I have a feeling I'm, it's not gonna work. I mean, it's not too bad. From the top, I don't know if you can see that, it doesn't look terrible, and from the side it looks fine. I think this would work for her. And I think if I was to buy some, I might buy them specifically for her and move the magnet. But I am gonna try it with some of these little magnets here and see if that makes a little bit of difference in the positioning. Let's see. Mm. It sticks up from her face a little bit too much here. So I'm gonna try this one. with these smaller ones here, because they're thinner. All right. Let's try it in a different spot. Let's try just one. See what happens with just one. <laughs> no, <laughs> this is not gonna work. So not too bad on its own, but like I said, I think I would prefer to get some for her and move the magnet specifically for her in it. And we tried that one with the MAM group. So let's grab another random selection here of pacifiers. So this one is a newbie. And again, big magnet. So this one I like, but again, it's a little too high. The magnet's high on it for Emmy. So I might start buying her some of her own mag um, pacifiers. This one, I forget the name of this one. Definitely different. And I can tell the magnet's up a little higher for M. So yeah, that's... <laughs> no, that's a big no. This one is... Oh. Ulubulu, maybe? I think it's Ulubulu. That one doesn't look too bad. It's a little low, but that's okay because her mouth is really where the round part is. So I don't mind that on her. Um, this is like a generic, you know, cheapy kind of one, and I don't like it. It's very rare that I like it on a Reborn, to be honest, but I don't think that one looks good. 
Uh, I don't know, maybe it's not terrible. It grows on me. So that one actually is not too bad. This is a Dr. Brown. This one, I'm gonna chance and say it's not gonna look good. I like it on Emmy, but that's because Emmy has fat cheeks and it's a flat um, shield. This So on her, I like the round ones a little bit more. Yeah, not a lover of that. I just, yeah. let's try it upside down in case it's the placement of the magnet. No, nope, I don't like this. So the flat, I don't personally like on her face. Now let's try this brand. I don't know what the brand name of this is. These are like dollar store ones or ones you find at Dollar General, like bargain stores. Um, I don't know, I'm not fussy about it, but it doesn't look terrible. Won't be one of my go-to ones though. So I think I've tried all of the different major shapes and sizes that we have. I have found a few winners, but I think overall, for the most part, I am still gonna stick with no pacifier and just the full, you know, unmodified one as a prop. So uh, thank you so much everyone for watching and really hope you enjoyed going through and checking out pacifiers on Amity with me.